Take two. I know this is going to be a late video because it was initially supposed to come out yesterday, but the audio was being real janky, so here we are. So we're going to be talking about an interesting part of the Imperial Legion's history, and this has to do with the Era of Pretenders. And now before we get into it, we're going to do a little bit of background on the Legion here. The Legion reformed under Riemann I and quickly became one of the most dominant armies in Tamriel. After integrating the Dragon Guard, the Riemann dynasty held most of the continent, and after ruling for centuries, widespread rebellions began to ravage the land. The Legion exhaustively put down all these revolts, but it was at a large cost. The Legion soon found itself the only army in Tamriel, but when the Second Empire dissolved due to the fact that the Potentate was assassinated, and then a large scale, not disdain, but dis I guess, yeah, disdain for the Empire had happened, the the Legion sort of became a tool that could be abused by those in power, and this is where the infamous Tharn family come in. As other factions rose, such as the Second Aldmeri Dominion, the Ebonheart Pact, and the Dagenf Daggerfall Covenant, the Legions were recalled back to Cyrodiil. Now when the Plain Meld began, the Legions that were left within the Imperial City were given an ultimatum. Swear loyalty to Mlag Ball, or die. Over half of those legions within the Imperial City chose death, but those that didn't became a mind-shriven part of Legion Zero. However, there was a group led by Captain Anatolius Cadot who refused and decided to lead the Immortal Eight and resist the Daedric attack on the Imperial City, and held out for quite some time and even managed to play some part of toppling the Tharn rule in the city as well. The legions that still resided outside the Imperial City began to engage in campaigns led by Javad Tharn and other members of the Tharn family, and the, this was in an attempt to annex land outside of the Tharn's control. But this was just one defeat after another, and more or less this led to mass desertions, and these mass desertions led to mass executions, and many legionaries would die whether it was from the executions or just simply from these fail failed campaigns. Not much is known until really around 852 of the Second Era what happened to the Legion, but it more or less fell in a state of despair. By the time Talos was given command, the Legion was ill-equipped, poorly trained, and incredibly small, and what was left of it was more or less a Cyrodiilic, um, Cyrodiilic army than a Imperial Legion. However, this made all the difference when Talos stunned the world when he won his battle at St. Cretor against a Nord Breton garrison, and essentially this led to Nords flocking to his banner, and the Legion began to swell in number. Together, Talos and Kulikane would reform the Legion into a brand new army, one that would go on to conquer all of Tamriel, and essentially become help become what was the Third Empire. Ironically enough, Kulikane was also a pretender before he became... I guess Emperor at this point. Uh, it wasn't until Tiber Septum had created the Third Empire by uniting all of Cyrodiil and Tamriel together into the Third Empire that you see hit Kulukane be transformed into quote unquote Emperor Zero. And this wouldn't have happened if Talos had lost. Kulukane would just have been another pretender to the throne since he really didn't have much of a claim for the throne to begin with due to the fact that he was a Colovian warlord ruling out of Folk Wreath. But nonetheless, I found this very interesting. I know today is a short topic. Uh, it was intended to be a short topic. I find these niche ideas and concepts and just lore studies fantastic. And I wanted to cover just a small part in the Legion's history where something that has been relatively stable and something to be a symbol of pride had definitely has its own dark spots in the world and more or less I might be covering more topics like this if you guys like these niche niche little things let me know in the comments below and then in the discord chat as well hope to see you guys there link is in the description below and then give this a like if you enjoyed this kind of stuff and I hope to see you all in the next video peace if you enjoyed, please like this video because it really lets me know you're enjoying this content. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. The links are right here for you to click on, and the Discord chat link is right here as well. And overall, I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.